Hi, it's Ray Mills, your VBA craftsman. In this brief demo, I'm going to show you an alternative to very lengthy list box, cascading list box, that is. That's, those are those list boxes that depend on each other in a cascading fashion, uh, particularly when you have a lot of choices. So in this case, I wanted to do something with automobiles. So I went to good old WeatherTech, and I said, hey, let me, first I... I automated it and I sucked down all the data out of here. But I did it for a limited number of years from 1975 on. So I provide that data for you, uh, that uh, actual code view in my website and how to do that. But a little bit of tricky as because IE is constantly changing. At any rate, so I pulled down all the data uh, for to get you the type of cars and all that. Okay. So then let's go here. So then I created this. Oh, let me show you how it works. Um, oops, let's get rid escape and here's your all your car types and how about for the first one I do a demonstration let's do Maserati click on Maserati let's go oh I don't know 2010 and let's take a look at the Gran Turismo and there you see it so you'll see how the um, oops I just did it so let's do it again just to show you um, Maserati 2010 and the Gran Turismo. Okay, so uh, my co my uh, buttons are actually you know alive and uh, have a have a move, but uh, um, have an event on the move, a mouse move. So they will pick that up. So let's just change that Maserati to Chevrolet and take a look. So if we go Chevy. Let's go. I don't know. Two thousand and I don't know. Nineteen seventy five. And let's go the ever popular Corvette. And we see what the Corvette looks like. Now let's change this to see what happens. Now let's put the Camaro. And again, it works. So uh, the purpose here is to demonstrate that um, you can use buttons as, you know, a cascading type uh, choices. Now I don't have every, I don't have every single uh, picture loaded because that would be building the full database. I don't want to build waste space, but I've damaged, this is the proof and concept. Um, so let me just run to the code a little bit, and I'll step you through that first load, and then you'll see how. Uh, so when we initialate, initialize the uh, the user form, and that form is form auto. And remember, I'm Ray Mills with Excel and VBACraftsman.com. Uh, declare a few variables. We use In this case, I'm using an access database on the back end to make it a little faster. Um, so I connect your access database straightforward enough using an ODBC connection. I set the initial width of the buttons. Now remember, uh, the buttons are 48 wide, and I have to make sure that it's their left is 72. They start 72, so you have to handle uh, the, the different sizes of the buttons because buttons are sized to accommodate the, the length of the description. So, for example, um, VW is two letters. I, I don't know if it's Volkswagen or not, but VW is two letters, or one of the smaller names like Fiat would fit right but Maserati wouldn't so you accommodate you accommodate them so you so you not only are you making these bigger or smaller but you're also making it as wide as the widest one to justify it the left justify it okay so it's a little more tricky than it may seem but let's go back to the code and uh, so there's my web extract I don't want that I want the code behind this double click and I want to initialize here we go so we set the initial starting position. We go on and open a connection to access. Then we go on to to load in. After we pull down, if you'll see, we say select distinct make from auto database, right? Simple enough. So the make is Chevy, Ford, Dodge, etc., right? And we pull those down, and we do until the end. We create a record set. We pull down, and then we do we loop through, do until record set and file. And then we populate each one of those databases, keeping in mind that um, each one of those boxes, rather, with the name. And then we have a calculation that gives the width, right? So uh, W equals, and I wrote a little function to, to calculate the proper width. Then I later, on, later on, I then look, calculate the longest line, that's a series of boxes. And then, again, you know, have the match so that we have a justified box. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, we're using the controls function here, the controls being an object, a series of, a collection of objects of all controls. So you can use, a, you can modify a control like this, 
by saying controls and then the name of that control. Now, all my controls, at least for the buttons that represent you know, particular models or years or uh, makes, go into a button called button one, I'm sorry, button I, which could be one through 64 plus R. The, uh, and I can show you that here, all these buttons, if you look, button one R, button two R, and it goes on and on and on until we come to button 64, right? So that's how we can control them because we know the position and name because they're all named uh, similarly that I can, I can simply do it by changing that character. That one becomes one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera. The year uh, is these are button one, two, and three M for menu. So that's the, that's the main point. So if you go back and look at what I'm manipulating, I'm really just saying, for example, um, control S miscellaneous caption. We built it over here. So let's for the first one it would be button one R. So button controls button one R caption equals to the first record set value and on and on and on. So it's pretty straightforward. So with each eight, we count for, we move the left over to the starting point, which is the same for all of them. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, after you do the first one, right, and go through the first row, you have to start back with the same left for this first item. And each one of these, its left is made by, you know, the uh, accumulating the widths, so to speak. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. So again, uh, simple thing to do, but it has nice impact. And of course, you know, if you think about it, you could you could uh, flip it around, right? Let me get this up. Okay, okay, we you could flip it around so the but the menu goes across the top and fills down. So it's just just an alternative. So just something you might think about. So again, it's Ray Mills uh, VBA and Excel and VBA Craftsman, and just a little ditty for a different way to to um, create a menu. You can find it all on my website. Thanks very much.